to another Inside the Recording Studio Tuesday tip. Today I'm going to show you taking a song file and turning it into a template. Let's get started. As you can see here, I have a file open. This is based on a track that I did for a TV show. And if I play it back, we get this. A little further on, we get this. And a little further on, we get this. And at the end, we get the dramatic ending. This track was designed for reality TV, and then they wanted more tracks very similar to it. Actually, this is one of the similar ones to what I had already done. So what I've got here is a drummer track that pulls in this drum fill at the end. I've got epic toms here that play sporadically throughout the piece. I've got some percussion being played on heaviosity. I have additional percussive stuff that comes out of brake tweaker and creates some randomization going in there. I have a big boom to end the thing. I have an ambient metal sound to go with that big boom. And then I have some reverse cymbals. I have a synth thing that provides this airy little thing in the center. And then I have this other one that I called high dance that kind of does a slightly different synth thing in the background. Then I have four guitar tracks and a bass track already all set up a reverb for the guitars, and I have a leveling setup for the sonic character of these instruments that are being used. In order to turn this into a template, the thing that I need to do is to go in and wipe out all of this stuff. Delete it. I will erase the automation because it's no longer valid for what I'm doing. Now I have a bunch of empty tracks that have all the sounds ready that are the sounds they've already approved and sounds that they dig. And then I can turn off the automation and I'm pretty much set to go. The one thing that I would do in addition to this is I would turn these off and turn on this symbol, which in most DAWs, they call it a low latency situation so that when you go to record anything that's a super intense plugin, won't give you latency in the end. Now that I've done that, I come up to a menu and I save as template. It brings up a window and I can call it what I'd like. Hit save, boom. Now when I close out of this, open a new one from template, production template right there, choose it, set the time, sample rates, and there we go. Now I have a nice clean situation that I can now use as my starting point for creating very similar sounding stuff. And I can just come in and if I wanna plug in a guitar, I can suddenly come to the track, I can record enable it and be ready to fly on guitar. Same thing with the other instruments, with the bass, the synths that are already approved and the drum sounds that have already been approved as well. And I can start writing right from there. I can change tempos and I'm good to go. That makes it very quick and it keeps your workflow moving in a light speed kind of manner. We'll see you next time.